did you know you wanted to start playing basketball? Um, I knew around the seventh grade. Um, I really just started late as a late bloomer in the basketball world. Um, at first, you know, I didn't want to play basketball. I wanted to do ballet. I wanted to be a, the tallest cheerleader ever. Wow. I just felt yeah. like basketball was a boy masculine sport, um, but I fell in love with it um, in the eighth grade seeing my name on an article. I was just playing just because it was fun. And just seeing that in itself just meant a lot to me and it made me like just want to be the best, you know? I just wanted to be number one in the state and I just kept working at it each and every day and it came to fruition. It came to fruition. And y'all are killing it. What about you, Cameron? For me, I would say it was kind of the same thing. I wanted to be a girly girl. I wanted to be the black sheep of my family. My mom played, my dad played. Yep, that's me. That's <laughs> interesting photo. Um, but I fell in love with it too, and it brought me so much. It's changed my life, and I couldn't be more thankful for it. So I'm just so happy to be here with these girls and with you. It's well, amazing. We are so happy to have you. And so proud of everything y'all doing. And Lexi, you grew up in a basketball family. Yep. Tell us about that. Um, my, both my parents played. My dad played in the NBA and my mom played in college. So um, it's just a basketball household. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, look how cute. See the forehead still match? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I just kind of fell into the game and it was kind of a way for me to just spend a lot of time with my dad. So, you know, that's mm. how I fell in love with it at a really young age. A lot younger than probably these three. I mean, six, five, six years old is when I knew I wanted to be a basketball player. That is, I totally understand that. And the Erica, when were you introduced to the game? A little different, yeah. I was kind of playing around with it at Boys and Girls Club, but I didn't really like get into competitive basketball until high school. I actually played softball and baseball growing up, mm. and I thought I was going to be on the boys' baseball team, and they cut me. And then I grew five inches, and they said, well, you should play basketball. And I was just like, okay, I guess. And then wow. within a year, I was probably one of the best players like, in the state. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I have to ask, because you guys are changing the face of women's basketball, but who did you look up to for female basketball players growing up? Um, I personally look up to Candace Parker. Candace Parker, wow. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. You? I would say Candace Parker, yes, because she yes. just retired. Yes. Yes. Shout out to Candace. Candace. Um, I would also say Brianna Stewart, Lisa Leslie is a huge one for me. She played yes. this far. Yes. Love Lisa. I mean, there's just so many. Yeah, for me, um, Christy Tolliver. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but she went to Maryland. Um, I got to be on her team my first season in LA. She was on the Sparks, so I got to learn a lot from her, which is wow. kind of a surreal moment. Someone I grew up watching, idolizing, and then we're teammates and then we're competitors, and now she's a, a WNBA coach, so she's still involved in the game, and you know, she's, she was it for me. Yeah. <laughs> You're the vet. I yeah, but I, I, like I said, I started playing late, so I kind of idolize men's baseball players. <laughs> 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 but uh, once I got into the league, I had a lot of good vets um, help like, show, them, show me the way. Wow, that's amazing. But y'all gonna inspire so many more young ladies. You know what I mean? Yeah. For kids, now, what was it like for you when, you when you heard your name being called in the draft? It was surreal. I just could not believe I was finally living out my dream. Um, I was just trying to be in a moment, but at the same time, it felt like a sigh of relief. Like, you did it, you made it. And just sitting there, you know, meeting all the draftees and just the new people, it was just a dream come true. And I feel like we all were so deserving. Yeah. And the draft itself was just so overwhelming, but in a good way. <laughs> and I was just, you know, just smiling. My yeah. cheeks were hurting at the end of the <laughs> night. Like, I was just so happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Like, I heard you say, er, like, what, was, what do y'all feel when y'all see this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Each I mean, other. They looked amazing. Yeah. <laughs> they, we had the two best dress draft picks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Wow, and Cameron, I heard you got to hear from you. Is he your, your god brother? Yeah. Steph Curry, what was that like? Yeah, I kind of made that term up. He's just a really close family <laughs> friend. His mom is my godmother, and she was there at the draft with me, Miss Sonia Curry, nice. and that meant the world. But I remember FaceTiming him two minutes before the draft started, <laughs> and I, all I said was, like, I'm so afraid to fall on my face walking up the steps. Oh. Um, and I did it. I was wearing these same heels. <laughs> And they cute too. Thank you. Okay. And you know, it all worked out. It was honestly kind of a, re a relief to hear your name called, but just so much joy. I was happy crying, and I was wearing so much black eyeliner, I had to cry like <laughs> horizontal <laughs> so it wouldn't run down my face. But it was just truly a magical day. How do you balance basketball and motherhood? Oof, I just do it. Honestly, there's no, oh, there's oh. no. 
there's no scripture to it, you know. My kids are, um, they're like the best thing in my life, but they're really good about uh, just adjusting to the lifestyle that comes with being a pro athlete, and they, they just go with the flow with me, and uh, they're very supportive. They, when I, they know when mommy goes to work, I lock in for my two and a half, three hours, and when I come home, it's all about them, so. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.